Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be back. I'm in. Uh, we, I just thank God for tonight, well, this morning. This is the watch hour, the third hour. This is the hour between 12 and 3 a.m. Amen. If I'm going to teach about the watch hours, I need to be up during the watch hours. Amen. That's why I'm teaching this so people could begin to understand that prayer requires you to submit to what God wants you to do, especially when it comes down to warfare, spiritual warfare. Now, many of you may know your watch hours. I know my watch hours are between the hours of 12 and 3 in the morning because this is the bewitching time. This is when uh, the enemy is attacking people. This is the time when uh, dreams are flowing. This is where a lot of stuff starts happening spiritually. So, because I am a deliverance minister, because I do healing ministry and release prophetically, this is a good time for me to be up to do warfare. So, this is a time where I get up and command the morning, command my day. Amen. Thank God that He is setting things in place. Amen. And thank God that He has given me dominion, power, and authority, just like you. Amen. Father has given you dominion, power, and authority over all things. And it's your right and your responsibility as a woman, as a man of God, to set the time to to get up and pray. So one of the things that I have been doing to make sure that I get up between the hours of 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. is going to bed early. Amen. <laughs> so it don't make no sense to stay up late to wake up early. It makes sense to go to bed early to wake up early. Amen. So we just give God the honor and the praise. We just thank God for this hour. We thank God, amen, that he has equipped us. Amen. He has given us a spirit of discernment to know those, to know the activities that is going on in the late hours of the night. Amen. So we just bless God. We just thank God for the power and authority of the blood of Jesus. Jesus. We praise God for the blood of the land. We thank God for your protection over your household. We thank God for your protection for your family. We thank God for your protection over your land, properties, transportation, even over your jobs, your businesses, your ministries, churches, even the inhabitants that fellowship with you in the body of Christ. Lord, we just bless them right now. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We praise you, God, for the power of the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we thank Thank you for the power of the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus that is against all demonic activities. Lord, I speak the blood of Jesus to break all demonic cycles, break all demonic cycles, break the demonic activities in the late hours of the night, break them throughout the day, break them, Father God. We break them by fire, by force, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, we bless your name, God, because we thank you for the blood. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the wholeness, God. We thank you for completeness in each person's heart and mind and soul, Father God. We praise you, God, that you are delivering them from the snare of the fowl, from the noisome pestilence. Lord, we speak life over our children, Father God. We bind the spirit of rebellion now. We bind that spirit of disobedience now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree and declare the word of God, Romans chapter 10, verse 8 through verse 10, God. We decree and declare that salvation shall be their portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We thank Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. So it's so important to be to begin to make declarations. Get your Bible. Be very strategic. Have the Word of God in front of you. Highlight the areas that you feel like you need to be praying. So when you get up between the hours of twelve and three in the morning, whatever the the time that God has assigned you to. Be very strategic. Have the word of God before you. Have the teaching before you. Whatever the Holy Spirit wants you to do, obey the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's just like when um Jesus, when Jesus did his first miracle, uh, it's when his mother Mary, Mary uh, informed him that the wedding that Jesus was attending had ran out of wine. And she basically told her son because she realized that her son had the ability to do a miracle. All right. And I'm saying this to you because I believe that God knows 
and he sees all things, that you, whoever's listening to me right now, you have the ability to do a miracle. But Jesus' response was, my time has not come. But I respond back now in the name of Jesus. Your time has come. Amen. It is your time for you to do a miracle. It is your time to speak the word of God over that circumstance, over that person, that situation, over every area of your life that is being troubled by the enemy. Speak that miracle with the blood of Jesus. Speak the blood of Jesus against every demonic activity against your life or somebody else's life. If there is sickness and disease, speak the miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. It is God's will. Amen. God will. He determines who would live and who would die. God will always get the glory. Amen. So rejoice in it no matter what. Know that your father in heaven will be glorified. But father is saying now your time has come in Jesus name. Amen. So we just bless God. We just thank God for the atonement of the blood. We thank God that he is keeping you safe and he is protecting you while you lay down, while your household is asleep in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for the power of the blood of Jesus. We thank God for the power of the name Jesus. We thank God that the, the name Jesus has defeated every foe, every demonic demon, every unclean foul spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. That I can speak the name of Jesus. We can speak the name of Jesus. We can attack the name. We can attack every demonic spirit, every spirit of the enemy. We can attack them with the blood and with the name of Jesus Christ. So we counsel every false opposition. We counsel every demonic activity that is opposing you right now. We counsel their operations now. They plans and their devices with the blood of Jesus Christ. We invoke the name of Jesus Christ over every satanic ritual. We invoke the name of Jesus Christ over every satanic ritual. It will not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, we speak the blood of Jesus, the blood of the lamb over every satanic ritual that is calling out your name. Every ritual that has your picture or your pictures of your family, every ritual that is being acted out right Right now, while you are asleep or when you are awake, we invoke the name of Jesus. We demolish their plans and their assignments in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even the devices that they are using to invoke their powers of darkness upon your life, we break it by fire, by force in the name of Jesus Christ. We release the fire of God over that ritual right now. We counsel their assignments. We notify it with the blood of Jesus and we invoke the power of the name of Jesus. For every spirit must yield and bow to the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Every spirit, clean, unclean spirit must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. So Father, we just bless your name right now. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that we have power and authority over the enemy. We thank you, Father God, we can counsel every opposition, any satanic operations within our cities. Amen. Within the inner governments. Amen. Over the leadership. Amen. Over the leaders of the cities, wherever your city is, begin to invoke the blood of Jesus over the city, invoke the blood of Jesus over the town hall, over the city, over the leaders, over the mayors, even the commissioners, whatever the circumstances is, now speak the blood of Jesus, invoke the blood of Jesus, speak and release the blood, the blood over every area, over decisions that they make concerning the state, in the mighty name of Jesus, even in your community, begin to speak the blood of Jesus over the streets, over the houses over the inhabitants release the fire of God on your street counsel and notify every criminal activity that is taking place knownly and unknownly in the mighty name of Jesus counsel and bind the spirit of death uh, premature death murder rape prostitution drug use or gang use anything that is unclean and foul that's in your neighborhood knownly and unknownly counsel it invoke the name of Jesus speak the blood of Jesus release the consuming fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Yea, God, we thank you, Lord, as we entered into the third watch. We release the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for the blessings and the provisions. We thank you for life right now. We release life in our neighborhood. We release life in the state. We notify and counsel every... It, Every evil ritual that is happening right now, knowingly and unknowingly, Father God, the illegal sacrifices that is made with the flesh, illegal sacrifices that's being made with animals' blood. We counsel it and nullify the rituals right now with the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right.
Father has given you the power. God has given you the power, just like he gave his son, Jesus Christ, the power to change water to wine. Yea, God, you're going to do greater works than these. That's what Father said. We would do greater works than these. Amen. And we cover ourselves and protect ourselves in the day of battle. We put on the whole armor of God, but we stand strong in them all in the mighty power of God. Amen. And we cover ourselves with the helmet of salvation in the name of Jesus. We command the power of God to be our portion. The power of God is our portion. We command the act Activity of the power of the word of God over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we just bless God. We just thank God for his sovereignty. We thank God for his peace and his joy in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God that he is our help and our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you said your word, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosened in heaven. Therefore, through the name of Jesus and the power of the blood, I bind and break in the name of Jesus. I bind and break every satanic ritual, every satanic ritual, even the altars that they have erected in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you have given your angels power over us to protect us wherever we go. And I release the angels of God right now to protect us in our homes, to protect us from any backlash in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, we bless your name in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, for your words psalms 91 verse 11 and 12 we decree and declare the word of god i thank you lord that the angels will bear us up in their hands at least we dash our foot against a stone i thank you father god in the mighty name of jesus as we speak your word as we trust in your word as we speak your fire around us god we are protected in jesus name amen so I'm using this illustration to show you how you should be praying when it comes down to um, spiritual warfare. When you begin to release the word of God, you must release the weapons that God has given you. But for you to use the weapons, you must also have on the whole armor of God. Amen. Now, if you have been following me, you've been listening to my teachers, you hear that frequently. You hear the word fire break fire by force. You hear me release the word uh, a Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus, and you're going to hear me use new words because the Holy Spirit, he's going to give you new words. The closer you get to God in your prayer life, the closer you get to God in studying the word, God is going to put some words in your mouth and you're going to feel like, oh, should I be praying that? Should I be saying that? Because you're not going to see it in the Bible. But that's what God does. I mean, he is the God that brings and revelation into our lives he helps us to understand those things that is spiritual amen we can no longer be conformed to this world but we have to be transformed with the renewing of our mind and that comes with reading the word praying in the spirit and make sure you learn to pray in the spirit be consistent in praying in the spirit amen and many of you may say well i don't pray in the spirit listen let me tell you something if you are praying with the word of god and you have consecrated yourself with the blood of jesus you are praying in the spirit amen now the holy spirit himself he may show up and he will have you speak in an unknown tongue an unknown language go for it push into that place amen release in the mighty name of jesus every now and then you may hear me speak in tongues amen many of you might say oh what is that don't panic that is the spirit of god he's releasing something other than what i'm saying for you to understand amen so he knows what he's doing so trust the holy spirit when you are praying trust him believe what you're praying have faith with what you are saying all right praying and saying out loud amen because your words are traveling into the atmosphere your words is doing some type of damage amen in some area because it's spiritual you're dropping atomic bombs into the camps of the enemy into those demonic activities that is operating in your area unknown to you 
You don't know whose life you just saved when you say, God, protect my street and the inhabitants of my street. Lord, I bind every demonic activity. I bind every spiritual ritual that is happening right now in this street, in my neighborhood, in my state, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I release the thunder of God right now in every area in this neighborhood, into the homes to expose the enemy that is at work in the name of Jesus. Deliver that child from sexual abuse. Deliver that woman from abuse. Deliver that man from abuse. Deliver that household from the snares of the fowler, from the wickedness of the plans of the enemy. So when you begin to pray like that, you're preventing something from happening in the natural. You're speaking life over that household. You're speaking life into your household. You're speaking life into the street. You're speaking life in your state. Now, when you pray, don't just pray locally, but pray globally. That's the key thing about spiritual warfare. God will give you assignment. He may have you pray for another nation. He may have you pray for certain people within that nation. One of the things that I used to do back in the day, I used to lay my hands over Asia, over India. India, God gave me India, and I began to pray over that nation. I began to release over that nation, begin to speak the blood over that nation. Amen. And so God would do those type of things. Heavenly Father would do those type of things. He will assign a nation to you. Now, when you pray, Pray. You don't have to let your left hand know what you're doing. You don't have to tell everyone, well, I got up in the morning time and I prayed, you know, may I speak the word of God over this and over that. You know what? If you're looking for um, the glory of man, then you will have that. Amen. But Father said, when you pray, pray in secret. He said, go in your closet, shut the door. Yeah. And don't let nobody know what you're doing and pray and pray and pray and pray. Now I have been in situations where I had lived with other people, you know, such as family members. And, um, I give you an example when I was, um, lived back home in London and, um, my bedroom was next door to my grandmother's. So I will wait for my Nana to fall asleep. <laughs> At least I thought she was asleep. And then I will begin to pray and I will begin to pray, pray, pray. And I would say, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. I'd be releasing Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Cause sometimes I didn't know what to pray. So I would just say, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. I would just pray that for about an hour. I'm, I'm not even sure. And I mean, things began to happen. And my grandmother, when she would wake up in the morning, she said, I heard you pray. <laughs> so you know, a lot of times you want to pray out loud. You just like, I'm home. I'm in my own home right now. So I could just pray out loud. I mean, um, because God has given me my home to do so. But when you're praying in other people's homes, you have to show respect. I mean, so if the people that you're residing with and they don't want you praying in their house, that's okay. You could just say, Holy Ghost fire. Now, I'm, I'm not saying my nana didn't say, oh, you can't pray in this house. No, my grandmother loved when I pray because she, she said she slept well when she would hear me pray. So a lot of times, you know, don't make a big deal out of it. I don't know who this word is, but calm yourself down. Don't make a big word, uh, deal about it. If the people say they don't want to hear you pray, that's okay. When you walk outside, you find your secret place and you pray. Amen. Or when you go to the bathroom, wherever you're, you know, what, whatever, just pray. And if you're not, sh if you, they say they don't want you praying in the hell, you go, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Amen. Release the consuming fire of God. He would do great works for you in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not about you doing the work. It's about him doing the work. Faith without works is dead. So it, for, for the Holy Spirit to do the work, you got to have faith. If there's no faith, there's no works. Amen. And how is the Holy Spirit going to move for you? How is the angels of God going to move for you? How is God going to do what he needs to do for your life? Only you would know the answer to that. Amen. That is something I don't want to get caught up in. Amen. In Jesus name. So we just bless God right now. We just thank God for his word. We thank God for the, for the activity that is around us, the spiritual activities, the holy activities. Amen. We thank God that we have shut every door, every satanic door, every evil activity. We have shut the portals, the illegal portals that has been opened to the people who are chanting late 
in the midnight hour. People who are releasing curses and spells. People who are doing stuff that is ignorant. They don't even know what they're doing. We release the Holy Ghost fire in their direction. And every arrow that is aimed at us, we reverse the arrows back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So we just bless God for this teaching. We just thank God. Um that he will continue to do great and marvelous things in your life if you permit him to. Amen. It's it's not as hard as it appears to be. It's really about our attitude. It's about what we desire to do for the Lord. And if our heart is in the right place, we will do what is pleasing and acceptable unto the Father. Amen. I will continue to come back and teach you the prayers I'm in between the hours of 12 and 3. And I will do um, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow night. I mean, I will uh, do some more warfare prayers with you and teach you to be more strategic when praying. Like I said earlier in the teaching, I said, make sure you have the word of God, right? Now, look at whatever your situation is, get the word. If you're sick, if, if you have a disease, you have the right to speak healing over your body. You have the right to call that sickness by its name. You have the right to invoke the name of Jesus over that sickness. You have the right to to, to, to decree and declare that healing is your portion and speak the blood of Jesus over that sickness. Amen. And bind the symptoms of that sickness and loosen the spirit of healing. Amen. Loosen it in the name of Jesus. But once again, you must have faith. So I will continue to teach you how to do that. And then um go to teach again on how to pray over your finances. Again, if you're having a financial problem, don't stress out. Don't worry about it. Take it to prayer. But if you allow yourself to be discouraged, that just reinforces the enemy to have more dominion and reign over your finances because he is quenching the faith in your life. He's quenching faith in your life. He is frustrating the grace of God in your life. Amen. So we give God praise for tonight. I pray that he will cover you this morning. I pray that he will order your steps in his word. Amen. I pray that you will be obedient. I pray that you will be submissive and I pray that your miracle will come in Jesus name. Amen. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, prophetic utterance. God be with you in Jesus name. Amen.